what is up welcome back to another Conan Exiles Isle of Sipta video so in this video I want to talk about what is the best item in my opinion to knock out thralls for capturing thralls and so ignore all this uh, basically there was a post I saw on the forums saying that the relic hunter no longer produces a recipe when it delves and the Shemite doesn't either and yeah they're correct it does not the 2.1.1 patch broke it. So they still delve, but you get no recipes. So, as a side note, before you delve anything, I would test it in single player to make sure it still produces recipes. Because some of them broke. The Shemite, the Relic Hunter, and the Silent Legion all produce no recipes. Those are the three that I tested. So anyway, what you want to do to get uh, the best knockout weapon is delve Star Metal Bows until you get the twice upon an arrow. So we'll put in a bunch here. I have one crafting right now. But I just want to show you and verify that you do in fact get the recipe. All right, we finally got it. And that was atrocious. I'm not, this is, okay. So we had to do 73 bows in order to finally get it and it's right here so that came out to 2920 Eldarium to get that twice upon an arrow and I also got all of these schematics Huntress long shot long shot twice upon a string string the Legion string the Legion string the Legion Huntress eye piercer long shot frenzied bow masterful bow eye piercer long shot the oak bone splitter bow and the oak and I do want to say, if you're a bow user, the Masterful Bow is a fantastic bow. It gives plus two to all attributes. So if you're going to use a bow mainly for killing, not knocking out, I would use the Masterful Bow over every other bow. But for knocking out, this twice upon a string is what you want. So yeah, 73 bows is what that took. 2,920 Eldarium. So we'll get it, because I have one that crafted here. And I did use, I do want to clarify this tier four to craft it so the stats uh that it comes with mine personally on the official server came with six damage but i see that this one comes with five damage and 10 armor penetration and the special it has is twin shot so every single shot that you fire from your bow it hits twice so put a blended weapon kit on your twice put an arrow and I believe that's why they created this bow. That's why the health damage is so low, is for knocking out. And then use blunted arrows. And then you'll see here, I'll spawn in a tier four. When I do a surge now, it's so easy for me to knock out. I actually just keep a damage weapon on my thrall. Because I can knock out everything pretty fast before my thrall kills it. So yeah, that's how I do it now. So yeah, we'll spawn in a tier four. Uh, let's go with something I never see, <laughs> an armor, and I'm going to do a surge one, Relic Hunter. I will do the purge one, right here. So with this, uh, you know what, let me uncloak, so that he tries to hit me. So we'll hit him once with a heavy attack, and that's how much damage I did. But with the bow, do you see it? Took about eight arrows. Which actually comes out to 16 because it hits twice, but it only takes you one arrow. So yeah, it took eight, and we'll actually spawn him in again. And what I'll do... Is I'll just hit him with a truncheon and see how many hits it takes. All heavy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So yeah, it took 16 hits, and I'm going to do one more time. I'm going to spawn him in, in case someone wants to time it. 
and I'm just gonna do light shots at them. But yeah, if somebody wants to go back through and time how long it took me to knock out with a truncheon versus these arrows, feel free. So yeah, we'll just get him to aggro us. But I do want to say, keep in mind that, there we go, he's out. I'm pretty sure, I, I'm probably not going to time it in post, but I'm pretty sure the arrows are far better. But what makes them so great is what I do at the platform, like when I'm doing a summon surge, is I'll stand far away. And, like, you can tell from a distance what is generally a tier 4, but I'll just peg it from a distance so I can see if it's a gold bar to know if it's a named or not. So that's what... That, on top of the fact that I do think it's the best knockout weapon, but being able to see from a distance what you got, and that's what I'll do. I'll sit here and just peg a couple of them from a distance. Like, oh, okay, they're all just two threes or or bosses. Okay, I'll just send my thrall in to kill them all. It's just so much easier. But yeah, in my opinion, the best knockout weapon in the game is the twice upon an arrow. So anyway, with that, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button. It really does help out. And I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed up until this point. So anyway, with that, take care.